I just pulled into the state trooper's office. I do some contract work for a guy with vending machines. I fill his route. I run his route and he has a vending machine here at the police headquarters in Karen Crow. So it's not that far. When I was in the building yesterday, asking one of the officers while I was filling the machine about inspecting an RV. They were familiar with the process and said they could do it here. So this is the next day. I do not expect to get this done today. I expect there to be something wrong I need to fix, but they did not tell me what's on the list. DMV can't tell me what's on the list. So the best way to find out what's on the list is to come over here and get them to check it off and see what I fail. So we'll see how it goes. So we just pulled into the state trooper's office. You can notice that I am not in the bus this time. We are in the little truck. And last time I came here, I told you I wasn't confident I'd be able to get it done. That was a long day. We got all the paperwork done here at the state trooper's office. Mr. Troy hooked us up made made things very easy i was here no less than 20 minutes and the paperwork i need to make the bus an rv is a physical inspection paperwork they are not inspecting the bus as an rv they are inspecting the bus basically making sure it's not stolen not that it has been converted so he gave me the paperwork i went down to the dmv louisiana only opened 11 DMVs across the state. Not sure how many there are in total, but that is less than less than half. We have more than 22 in Louisiana. So I went to the DMV in the bus in my town and they were closed. Lo and behold, Abbeville's garbage. So don't expect much less. DMV was closed, I had to go to a private DMV and wait outside in this Louisiana heat for two hours. This lady spent two hours trying to figure out why she couldn't do it, plain and simple. She came back out, she told me that she could not do it because these are my sheets. Simply because this yellow sheet, it says bus. Body type, it says BU, which is a bus. And she said she could not convert it because that needs to say motorhome. This week I came here and seen the guy who filled this paperwork out. He told me to come today on Tuesday and he would get it done for me. So that's what we're doing today. And uh, hopefully everything goes smoothly. So we'll let you know what happens. All right, today I'm over here at the state trooper's office when I first got the bus and did my registration at the DMV because at first I did not convert it to a motorhome. I just registered it as a private bus. That way I could drive it. Um, and I've driven it probably 35, 4,000 ish miles as a private bus, no issues. When I did that registration at the DMV, I asked what the process would be to convert this. They said they needed a yellow sheet of paper from the state troopers that said it was converted to a school bus. And that is a physical inspection. That yellow piece of paper is not a conversion checklist or, or anything of that sort. It's basically just paperwork, making sure that the vehicle is not stolen, that the VIN matches the frame and you have insurance and, and all that. So he's not looking for a converted RV at all. I talked to him again. He said I could show up without the bus. He would redo the paperwork for me and write motorhome on it. He just let me know that the DMV is supposed to do some kind of dismantle paperwork and the DMV is supposed to have their own checklist. And I was not informed of that and I hope that that's not the way it goes. I'm pretty sure the only reason I didn't get it done was because it said bus and not motorhome. Some things in Louisiana are super difficult to do with government. Um, some things are super easy. Some things we just don't have procedure for. And I think this is one of them because no one knows what's going on or how to do this. 
So I could get away with keeping it as a private bus, but if we ever go up into Canada or different states, different uh, regulations on the weight of the bus and also insurance purposes, it just all around it'd be better to have it registered as an RV, a class A motorhome. So that's what we're trying to do. And I will let you guys know how it goes. I am out of there already. It took less than less than 10 minutes. It literally it just took as long as it took him to fill out. So we have a motorhome. So now that we got that paperwork with motorhome on it, we're gonna try to get it done at the DMV. The DMV is always a headache. And like I said, there's only 11 of them open, so lines are super long. You gotta wait outside. So I might wait a while. Definitely do not want to do this today at the DMV, especially at the heat of the day. But now that we have it, we should have a good grace period before needing to try to get it converted. Bye bye! Hey lover. We got a motorhome. <laughs> this week we are at my brother's we are in round hill virginia we are taking a little vacation visiting my family visiting my godchild before we left last week we got the title switched to a motorhome so hopefully by the time we get back we'll have the title in when i first got the bus i was expecting to have to go down a checklist of things that a motorhome needs to be able to get it registered as one let's go over a couple of those things right now because i found the list on schoolie.net of what classifies a vehicle as a motorhome so a motorhome needs a cooking facility with an onboard fuel supply it needs a gas or electric stove you need a toilet with an exterior evacuation. You need a heating or air conditioning on board with a fuel source other than the motor of the vehicle. You need a potable water source and 115 to 120 volt power. So our bus has none of these right now. So I just want to go over a couple of things about Louisiana's conversion process for your registration and your license plate and your bus. Louisiana only checks for four things. That is your certificate of title, the VIN on the body and the frame, your driver's license and insurance. If you have all of those things, you can go down to the state police and they will do a physical inspection for you. And that is all they are looking for is your title, your driver's license, insurance and registration of well, the VIN. They want to make sure it's not stolen. They want to make sure you will have paid all your Louisiana roadway fees. They want to make sure you have no flags on your license and the, the vehicle is not stolen. So I feel we got lucky with Mr. Troy out at the police station because he knew it was not a motorhome. He made the comment that it was not a motorhome, so he wasn't supposed to put motorhome. So I think if you have issues, if you're trying to take a bus that is unconverted down to the state police and they give you issues, if you wait till it's fully converted and then go to the state police, you won't have any problems. I was expecting this process to be a lot more difficult. I have watched different videos on different states of this conversion process, and I expected Louisiana to just be insanely difficult. I still went back and forth to the state police and the DMV twice, which is to be expected because this is not a normal thing. Thank y'all so much for watching this week's video. I know it wasn't as exciting as previous weeks, but it is a huge hurdle jumped for us. And speaking of jumping hurdles, we just passed 1000 followers on Instagram. So we are super excited about our 1K giveaway. And if you're still building a schoolie, you'll really want to check out what we've got for you. So just go on Instagram, find Paris Schoolie and this picture, and then follow the steps to enter. So thanks again for watching and like and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out to keep making videos for y'all. Thank y'all.